Good morning. You may be seated. As the prelude is played this morning, I'm just going to ask you if you take a moment to look around. Um, our uh, contractor has pretty much finished the work here in the sanctuary, painting, patching, and putting in new crown molding. They still have to do some work in the windows. Uh, that'll be this next week. And then they're going to move to the fellowship hall. So um, just take a look around. Looks so much better with a fresh coat of paint on it. So, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the morning worship service of First United Methodist Church here in Dimit. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 99, verse 9, Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Can we say amen? amen? As every Sunday, I invite you to give praise and worship to God. We're all welcome to the house of the Lord. We're very blessed by your presence here in this sanctuary or listening on the radio, or watching on Facebook Live, or on our social media. And as always, we invite you that if you are here, you can come and join us and worship God with us in this sanctuary. The announcements, they are in the screen, but for our uh, viewing and listening audience, the youth fundraiser will immediately follow this morning's worship service. So it is today, and we will have brisket, it is delicious, you can smell right now. Potato salad, we will have beans, desserts, everything is ready. So please don't go, please stay, we will have a fellowship. And you will be helping the youth and the kids to go to camp and for vacation Bible school and summer activities. So please don't go, please stay, have fellowship and join us in this meal and you will be helping. And that is the only announcement that we have today and is now children's time. Good morning. How's everybody? Well, we're out of school. Are we already saying, I don't have anything to do? Are we going swimming, going to visit our friends, going to camp? Okay, well I hope all of you get to go to camp. That, and last week, some of you, maybe all of you, went over to Cedar Canyon to visit the camp. That was a good day, wasn't it? Okay. All right. Today, I want to talk to you for just a minute. <clears throat> this is kind of Easter. At Easter time, there are churches, there are towns that have what they call the Passion Play. And they are reliving for others to watch the last week of Jesus' life. And different people in the town or in the church play the characters, the disciples, and Jesus. And there was a little girl downtown a few days later 
they were in the grocery store, and all of a sudden she saw a man. And she said, I live next to Jesus. And that man had played the part of Jesus in the Passion Play. And he lived on her street, and she recognized him. And each one of us can say that we live next to Jesus. If we know Jesus and have Jesus in our lives, then we can say we live next to Jesus. We are close to Jesus and God. And that's what Jesus wants each one of us to feel that close to him, that we live next to him. We have him in 